we're, I find it interesting when people's perceptions don't match what the data says. And I was planning on both asking both ladies here whether or not they think the crime rate over the past 10, 15 years has gone up or down. Now, Cindy kind of I jumped us that she saw the data on the printer. <laughs> so maybe we'll start with Amanda on this one. Okay. I mean, I feel like the fact that you're talking about it means crime has gone down. <laughs> Told you she'd say that. He said you would say that. I said that in the break. I was like, she'll know I'm contrarian. <laughs> Cindy saw it yesterday, but she was slightly surprised by it as well. I was. I, it, the perception is that maybe it's worse right now. Okay. Yeah. So let me start by softening this and saying that you, you guys are not in the minority. When, when they poll people and they ask them this question, most people say that crime is worse. And this is actually one of the lower numbers. I saw some polls where numbers were in the 66, 67% of people thinking that crime was worse since 2008. And they go back and they say, what about the 90s? And they still say worse. Okay, so you can see where I'm going with this. It's not even close. You look at vi violent crimes there on the left, you look at um, different ways of looking at violent crimes because there's different databases, property crimes uh, in the middle there, and then property victimizations per thousand people. No matter what type of metrics you're using here, uh, crime is substantially down from the 90s and, and from the 2000s, and it's continued in that general trend for quite a while here. Now, one thing that's interesting is when we ask people, when pollsters ask people about crime in their area, they're not so sure about it. They feel more closely like crimes may be going up, maybe it's going down, but they don't think in general that it's this runaway problem like they seem to at the national level. And that probably has to do with the fact that people either experience crime or they don't experience crime, and that uh, lends them to perceive it a little bit differently. So why do people think that crime is going up when it's going down in a relatively precipitous way? I think there's a couple of things at, at play here. One is mass shootings. So unfortunately, mass shootings obviously have gone up quite a bit. And there are different ways to characterize a mass shooting, uh, but no matter how you characterize it, it has gone up substantially. These are big, high impact, um, high coverage events that are violent crime. And so they're not a good way of understanding crime in this country, but they're a very uh, big part of what we see on a, on a daily basis or, or whatever the case may be with, with media consumption. Which leads us to this. What the real problem might be is kind of us, news. So they've done studies on people's perception of what crime is doing based on their consumption of television and social media. And they found people that watch television more, including local news, perceive crime to be higher. But the number one indicator of whether or not they would perceive crime to be higher would be social media use. So social media is partially driving people's perceptions of crime. Quick side note here, crime is slightly up a little bit this year uh, because of COVID, which is its own microcosm event having to do largely, unfortunately, with uh, domestic violence and an increase in alcohol consumption. What we're gonna do here, ladies, over the next week, we're gonna start on Monday. We're gonna go through factors that brought crime down from the 90s and factors that you might think but didn't. And so some of those top th topics are incarceration, the death penalty, um, the right to carry laws, inflation, lead paint exposure, uh, policing, and the economy. So these some of those helped and some of them you think would and didn't. And we're going to go through the statistics on all that. Huh. Interesting. I think, Keith, you're doing your own Freakonomics yes, right now. Yes, exactly. I we're love gonna, that. We're going to get in there and see what uh, what really caused it. And, and, you know, the other thing, just closing here, we like to give good news every once in a while. This <laughs> segment came from a friend of mine who was truly shocked that crime had, was down. He said, well, why don't you report on it? Give me some good news. And I said, you know what? We will. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, Keith, thank you so much.